welcome back to my channel I am back filming it feels good to be back as always um, so I'm not gonna do too much talking I'm gonna get right into this so I am doing a flexi rod set I have done this before on my channel but this time my method is gonna be a little bit different I want a little bit more of a like spiral elongated curl so I'm gonna see if I can attempt to do that with smaller flexi rods so um, I'm excited to see the results so if you do want to see how I attempt to do that with flexi rods um, continue watching and just wait for the results so of course I have to um, just straighten up my part I am doing a middle part I have to make it look neat because I want this style to be absolutely um, just you know perfection so I am sectioning off my hair and I'm grabbing a small section just to start off with the flexi rods I always make sure that my sections are detangled first and then I'm gonna go in with um, some mousse I'm using the Mayo organics pomegranate and honey um, curling mousse like this mousse has a lot of holds so you do want something that is going to hold your hair in the flexi rod so I apply the mousse and then I tangle my hair one more time before I install the flexi rod so to start off you want to make sure that this flexi rod is as straight as possible so as you can see here i'm just trying to straighten out the flexi rod so um the next thing i do is i bend the end of the flexi rod at the top i will bend it to create a little hook and then i'll you know latch that hook on to the root of my hair and then i'll start to um twist my hair around the flexi rod i was kind of struggling at first so that's what you see here but when you do latch your hair on to that hook at the root make sure you're also tightening it and bending it tight at the root um just so it can also be secure and your roots are also not puffy so as you can see i'm utilizing the entire flexi rod you want to make sure you do that um, make sure there's space in between your hair going down the flexi rod just so it can be elongated so we can get that nice spiral curl and then to secure just bend the ends and then repeat so attach the hook to the root um, tighten that hook and then just wrap your hair around the flexi rod make sure that you are utilizing the entire flexi rod so i hope i made sense but i'm gonna be quiet and let you guys just sit back and watch i do have a lot of demonstrations on how i applied the flexi rod this time so just continue watching and i hope this is very helpful to you
And one thing I want to add is to make sure that you do smooth down your ends before you do bend the flexi rod at the ends. That is just so it can be extra secure. You guys, I am finally done installing all of the flexi rods. I am so proud of myself for actually um, finishing this. It took about an hour and a half to two hours. It didn't really take too long, honestly. So as you can see, I am using the Myel Organics Mint Almond Oil right here. My hair is completely dry. It took about four hours to air dry, um, but you can definitely sit under a hooded dryer and by the look on my face, um, you can tell that I got my spiral curl. Look at that, okay? That looks so good, okay? So yeah, um, the purpose of the oil is to just rub it on your fingertips as you are taking down the flexi rods just to avoid frizz. I also use the oil on my fingertips when I also separated um, the curls. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys just watch me take this down and look at my beautiful spiral curls. So I am all done taking out the flexi rods. So now it's time to separate. So here you see me applying more oil to my fingertips. We want to avoid frizz as much as possible. And to do that, you don't want to separate the pieces too many times. So um, you want to make sure you separate where the curl wants to naturally separate on its own. So yeah, um, I also just twirled the ends in the direction of the curl. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish separating the rest of my hair. So if you've been with me this long watching this process, I am so excited like for you guys to see the result. Don't fast forward, you know, 
you gotta look at the whole process you know yeah okay i'm gonna be quiet now Look at those spiral curls. Oh my goodness. They look so beautiful. So of course you can choose to just, you know, leave your hair as is. It looks good like this, but I had to stretch my hair. So um, as you can see, I did grab my hooded blow dryer, not hooded, is this hooded? No, this is a handheld blow dryer. So what I do is I just grab sections and I hold my hair at the ends and then I just run the blow dryer down each section for about maybe 10 seconds um, it's on medium heat it's not on high heat because I don't want to you know actually you know fry my hair so it's on medium heat I hold the ends and then I just run the blow dryer down I do that for you know small sections um, so yeah just continue watching to see how I stretch these curls And for the curls in the, you know, front of my head, they're kind of loose, more loose than the rest of my hair. So I don't pull these too tight. I kind of just loosely pull these and then I just, you know, run the blow dryer for about maybe five seconds because I don't want the curls in the front to be too loose. Even though they are a little bit more loose, um, I didn't want them to be more loose than what they are now. So yeah, um, I'm finishing the other side off camera. What is life? What is this? Like, these results are unheard of. Like, what is, what is this? I'm in shock. I ain't even got cute yet. And, and the hair speaks for itself. What? It's giving what it was supposed to give. I wanted long spiral curls. Hey baby, my uh, my hair understood the assignment. Okay, what? Baby, let me stop and let me get cute, and I'll be right back. But do you see these results? Do you see these results? I can't stop looking at my hair. I can't stop looking at my hair. Well, if you guys liked my results, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
because it means a lot to me when you guys do like my videos because that means I know what you guys want to see more of so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to also comment down below because that also helps too because then I know that you guys also like what I'm putting out and don't forget to subscribe if you just you know happen to stumble across my channel and you like what you see then um subscribe so you can see more of all right, you guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Um, see you in the next one.